Welcome to the Empire Buddies, this is Rampant, and welcome to another development update for my project Renaissance, the current fan-developed spiritual successor to Medieval 2 Total War, where I am going to be trying, this is going to be the first development update today that I get to try and showcase a bit more of what is now more than just myself as the team has been able to accomplish so far, where at the moment I know my main priority so far is trying to make sure that I have clear and consistent communication with you guys, and so if you guys aren't seeing things from me on my community uh, the community tab on the YouTube um, channel here um, I will either I so also be trying to just make sure I'm uploading videos where I'm trying to and this is my hope I want to have something at least maybe once a month at least um, but uh, I would like it to be more closer to maybe once every week once every other week something in between there just so we, you guys know we exist we're here we're chugging along as right now uh, the team has been able to expand now up to at least four guys. Don't worry, guys. If you have been sending me emails, that is still probably the by far the best way if you are interested in trying to join this project. Um, I just have been getting a lot of emails, and I'm trying to make sure that I want to make sure I'm not accidentally adding too many cooks into the kitchen, so to speak, um, and, uh, too quickly in with this team. So um, I'm seeing everybody's emails. I'm trying to slowly but surely respond to everybody. So if I haven't gotten you, back to you guys just yet, don't worry, I will. I do intend to try and get back to everybody. Um, I just know right now I'm just trying to make sure it's slow, consistent improvements and growth of the um, of the team. Don't want to grow us too quickly to uh, and get too overexcited. Um, so what I'm going to be going over today is a little bit of what each team member um, has been able to do so far. Primarily, the most exciting one to kind of showcase right now is what currently Corey has been able to do, where he has primarily been doing a lot of the prototyping and hammering out a basic prototype for the project. So at the moment, if I start up the game, we have a basic UI. It's not much. <laughs> It's not much. It's we don't have any artists in the team just yet. Um, actually, one thing uh, I have to make sure I'm doing is immediately after this, I'm going to be trying to review um, one of the portfolios of one of the guys that is offering to join us. Um, that is for a 3D artist. There's another person. That's another person for research. Where I have to read his articles that are in Italian. So. There's a lot of little random things like that, guys, that are um, making the process a little bit slower for me to um, have it so that I am um, enlisting people. But I find it exciting to kind of look through what everybody has um, as their skills and like where I can see they'd fit well within the team. That's another kind of thing, making sure like the people that I'm grabbing are going to work well with the current team. But we have a basic UI so we can start a campaign and or load. Um, we have been trying to make sure that this is something that me and Corey agreed with, uh, especially very early on before we started the prototyping, is we want to make sure, because he has far more uh, actual gaming experience, uh, game development experience than I do. He's got like eight years, I believe it was, if I remember correctly. Um, we want to make sure that we are trying to design this game with modability in mind. So we're using a lot of data tables to spawn cities, for spawn the factions, units, try and make it very, it's a simple process to add more stuff. That's kind of the idea. I'm trying to keep things simple, keep it stupid, and have it so that's what we're focusing a lot on the development. We don't need a lot of overcomplicated um, different systems in place. Just a bunch of small, very simple systems to set up will compound on top of each other in a far more interesting way than having extremely complicated ones. So, hey, we got some very basic uh, factions initially in here for testing that we're going to be continuing to focus again. Current goal and current focus is we are trying to essentially basically make the demo in the UK. Focus only on the UK, get all the systems in place to test out around that area. That involves campaign mechanics, that involves building mechanics, that involves battles, that I need to actually hit start game. I need to do that. <laughs> um, and everything around there. And once we have it, we feel like we have a good enough idea of what's going on around the UK, that's when we'll start slowly expanding things out to other regions. Because I think that's the best way to keep this in a very concise, focused manner to get some actual work done every a uh, little bit by little bit. So at the moment, hey, we have a basic camera system. If I actually click in the area, we have a basic camera system 
where we can actually kind of move around the map with ASDW keys. At the moment, we don't have rotating at the moment. That's something I know we will have to add in, but it is a very basic um, kind of UI we have for buildings, armies, agents. This is definitely all temporary. We might be changing all of this at some point. Um, we also have just a basic, I can't zoom in. That's another thing I'm gonna say. I wanna be able to zoom in and showcase the meshes a little bit more, but I can't zoom in just yet. Um, but we at least have it. So, hey, we have those data tables. I believe they are, because input, no, it's not input data. Yeah, cities, yeah, city data data table, um, factions data table, faction details data table. So we're trying to keep this in mind while we're developing this. So it's a bit easier to develop the idea the, or to mod the game later on. Not because I think the game is going to need modding to save it. No, I love the modding community for Total War. I am fascinated by what they've been able to do. My entire gaming channel is around mods for Medieval 2, um, primarily. And I know just how much the modding community can do a lot for a game. And so I wanna make sure that like, I wanna deliver a full, complete finished product that doesn't need mods, but I wanna make it so if you wanna make small changes to fit what you personally want, like maybe I make the game too easy. I wanna try and make it so it's going to be a good challenge, but maybe I don't make it hard enough. Increase the spawn rate. I don't know. Simple things like that. I want to have it so that, like it's easy to mod it. And also, I would love the idea later on, if somebody wants to be able to, once this is fully complete, use this as a baseline to be able to make a full conversion mod of their own. Maybe. Okay, I want to be able to make, allow that to be happen, be happening. But so far, so again, so this is primarily all that we have for the moment. It's It's small, but I think it's an important little distinction to showcase, hey, we're now being able to get maps, uh, city uh, cities on the map to just kind of showcase, hey, this is supposed to be the around here, around here, around here, around here. We have basic information, like just generic numbers to test out, hey, this is supposed to represent the population. And at the moment, I think we just have five. I think York's up here too. Yeah, here's York. Here's York. We got York on the map. Uh, we got uh, Oxford, Windsor, London. Um, Canterbury. These are po possibly not going to be the final cities that we're going to be having in here. We're st I'm, right now, we're the so this is basically what Corey's been able to do so far. Um, currently, I need to check in with him again to see how this is going. Um, the other thing that he wants to try and focus on at the moment is trying to get recruitment um, set up next. That's currently what he's working on. And uh, besides that, um, Joe just recently finally got back from being out of town, so he's going to be trying to. I know he wanted to do some uh, research, do some of the research. He's literally from the UK, so he has a pretty good uh, basis there to start from, where he thinks he's going to be looking for some of this information. But also, I know he needs to. He wants to help out with sculpting the map. This is a very rough map initially, and so we're going to have it. So we're slowly but surely trying to update it. But it, at the moment, this serves its purpose for testing purposes to just get a basic idea of what's going on. Although we will need it to be a bit cleaner when we start trying out battles. Because I do want to try and have a procedural generation for terrain. I like procedural generation for terrain from what you were able to get in Medieval 2. It felt very interesting if the pathing worked and you got a good procedural generation. Um, it felt good always to be like, okay, I'm fighting, like, London's to the east of me. Oh, I'm spawning here. I can see a city over to the east of me. The terrain kind of looks like I was actually to the west of London. I like that. Um, if we are not able to get a procedural generation system set up, that'll be sad. But I think it won't be the worst thing if we just have to generate a, ver a ton of variation for land types. I know... I think it's like the Gaia project, I think, is one thing I want to look into more um, to try and have it so we'd be able to be like, oh, okay, this is supposed to be basically where we'd be at. Let's try and generate a terrain that makes sense for this area. Well, that's further down the road. We'll have to, we're not worrying about that. We're worrying about getting like basic units on the map. And, uh, and it, like battles are going to be like the primary focus. I know, again, this is one thing that I want to, uh, I'm really hoping I hear back from this guy again. Again, if you guys are interested in the project, um, and you leave a comment, I appreciate that. Helps out with the algorithm, hell of a lot. But also, I'm more than likely just going to tell you, hey, email me to t talk about this further. There was one person in the comments, and um, I know I'm hopeful to hear back from him because he was saying, hey, I've actually kind of already built, uh, developed a little bit in Unreal, um, kind of the battle system, essentially, and kind of figure out a bit of the performance and uh, pathing for that a little bit. I don't, actually, I think I might have been, I, that's not true, the pathing part, but the performance part of it. I really hope I hear back from him. If you see this video, man, send me an email. I would love to talk to you. Um, 
other than that right now. So other team members, so we just had recently um, two other new people just recently joined. Again, I'm trying to talk to another person that is going to be about 3D modeling. I have to pre review his portfolio. But we've also been able to have um, two people for research. Um, we have Michael, who is currently at the moment focusing, trying to focus on um, the different factions that are going to be around this time, trying to get cities and populations um, for those cities. And then we also have Lewis just recently joined. I have to talk to him about figuring out exactly what he's going to be looking into exactly. Um, he's offered to help a lot with research, possibly um, kind of being a bouncing board for me to think about ga uh, game systems where I'm actually going to showcase a little bit of the document I have for that. Um, but also, one of the reasons why I uh, had him join that I'm interested about um, is once we eventually get to the um, animation side of things, he has 15 years of HEMA experience, if you don't know. Um, you, uh, it's historical European martial arts, mixed martial arts, I think it is, um, which I think will be very interesting to try and incorporate some of that kind of stuff when we start working on animations. So that I think will be really cool. Besides all of that, as I think that's a good rough summary of what everyone else has been doing, um, then there is me, where I have been focusing primarily on the recruitment side of things, the community outreach side of things. I have another interview set up with another content creator, because I want to have, and I need to make sure I don't let myself be too nervous that time and let him talk more. Um, that will be with the Terminator. Um, that will be a little bit out from here, from now, but to keep an eye out for the, on the channel if you'll be interested in that interview. Um, so outreach, setting up interviews. Also, I've been reading so many comments trying to make sure I'm keeping in mind all of what you guys have been saying. I want to get the clearest picture of basically at the bell curve of what does everybody want? What systems do we want? And that's why I want to do so many interviews with other content creators because I want to get the best idea of like what are the good things of Total War? What are the bad things about Total War? What do we want to avoid? What do we want? And I know I've been trying to make sure I keep this in mind, of, especially with, um, I don't want to get too hyped up, and try and have feature creep. That is a huge concern. Trying to keep things simple, trying to make sure they make sense, take inspiration from Medieval 2, other Total Wars, like what has worked well for those types of games, um, to have a better idea of what this game needs to be as its own unique creation. That is, yes, it, it wants to be a spiritual successor to Medieval 2, but also, I want to do better than Medieval 2. I would love for this to be the Total War type game, this grand strategy type game, that people compare in a good light to Baldur's Gate 3, a game like that. That's my goal. And so... I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the design principle document that I have been basically setting up, and I keep adding to a little bit every day. Um, the most recent editions are kind of the ones I had the most fun with because they're the ones for agents. Um, I will actually go a little more depth in depth that. I'll just kind of scroll through this. If you guys want to pause and read through this, these are supposed to be just like very basic ideas of what I'm trying to do. Um, these are subject to change based on what I think will make sense, what will not make sense. Uh, I know one thing for sure, I'm not having replenishment. I, I do not think replenishment works well for the uh, Total War type game systems. I think it just makes you not give a shit about your casualties, and I don't think it's good. I do want to have a population system. I want to go back to a Medieval 2 building system. Some of these are things like if you've looked at the comments, I've talked about them quite a bit. Um, if you guys see anything that like I haven't put down in this giant list yet, I'm trying to make sure slowly that I'm surely that I am trying to get every thought I've had over the past several years about what does a um what is a good total war type game what do we want in them that i think will be fun and so there's a couple little things in here like hey i want to go back to having the armor upgrade system we do not need complicated stats as simple stats honestly not a bad thing basically keeping them similar to like maybe um D, D, &D type stats it's very simple very cut and dry you kill this guy you don't kill this guy that's it um, letting people be able to kind of change their AI aggression be based on like kind of like similar to stainless steel. You can to make it as aggressive as you want it to be. Um, one thing that I find interesting, and this is just if you watched my Zardom Total War campaign on my gaming channel as the Roman Empire, you found out how much I fucking love the princesses. I want princesses to be a home record. <laughs> it's so simple and so stupid, but I want to be able to have it so that like there is a lot more of like it's it's mainly the same thing. It's just a small little addition. Like hey. Let me have it so maybe it's courtesans or something like that. So you can have a male or female version, and you could seduce whoever the fuck you want in the game. And this would work really well, especially if there was a suggestion for a nemesis-type system. 
I kind I, I would love that, but I don't know if that's going to be too, including too much. So I'm going to start small, something I'm going to put on the back burner. There's a lot of ideas that I've been putting on the back burner, like, hey, I definitely like this idea. I need to first make sure that we have all the fundamentals down first, but it'd be kind of cool to have stuff like this. Also, I'm trying to have like a mix, uh, interesting mix for what diplomats are. So you kind of have a mix of having to physically go to people and talk to them, but also the convenience of just talking to talk to anybody. So there's a little bit of things here. Also, I might try to let people have anti-popes. have to look into that more to see if that's going to be a possibility. But like that could be kind of cool. So you can see what I mean. Trying to keep it clear, concise, simple things. Don't need to add a lot to them. Don't need to add a lot to agents, for example. Maybe just kind of have it essentially basically what they were in Medieval 2. Um, but improve on them. Improve on these ways. Like look at all the bad things that happened in Medieval 2 and see how can we improve on this. I want to go back to the recruitment pool system in Medieval 2. I have an idea of like, hey, how do we have it so we're not just endlessly sending individual single little armies to regroup all the damn time? I have some thoughts on that. But I think that's actually probably a pretty good way uh, thing to end on right now here. Um, this is basically now as clo uh, a pretty good uh, development update, I'd say. Um, I've now been able to like, hey, we have a start on a working prototype. I know this is going to t this project in general is going to take years. I'm hoping you guys are here for along for the, the ride. I want to keep you guys engaged and keep you guys up to date on what is going well, what is not going well. Hey, what kind of people do we need for the project? I know we need artists. No, like, just normal artists have joined yet. Um, but just keep that in mind. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying these updates. Um, I will hope to see you again soon. Um, keep a, tab, uh, a look over on my community tab. If I'm not posting any videos, I'm probably going to be posting stuff randomly there. I'm tempted to start putting like random polls on there to kind of get pe gauge people's reactions to for ideas. That's something I'm considering doing as well, just to kind of make sure you guys know I'm alive. I'm not dead. Still trying to upload stuff as long as there's stuff to talk about, or I'm able to get interviews with other content creators and I can have a discussion there. But hope you guys enjoyed this development update video. I'm going to probably now go back to updating that document myself and figuring out what I'm going to ask in this next interview and hopefully have it so I let them talk more because I know I get nervous and talk a lot. So that's the thing I need to work on. But I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rampand, and I'll see you guys next time.